Finally tonight, a tradition affirming the dignity of all human life. An annual mass for the special needs community in the Archdiocese of Washington is catching on elsewhere. Wyatt Goolsby reports. Skills and time are ours for pressing toward the goals of Christ. Fitting lyrics for the start of what's called the White Mass, a liturgy highlighting people with special needs. The White Mass proclaims that all are needed at the altar of God and commissions us, sends us forth to be agents of this message. All the clergy members are dressed in white, a reminder of the faithful being united in Christ through baptism. People with special needs take part, from the readings to the prayers of the faithful. Greg Ubarra, a Cameroon native who now teaches in Washington, D.C., signed the second reading. Ubarra lost his hearing due to an illness at eight years old. He tells us the white mass gives him a sense of renewal. We all come together as one community of faith. We're not looking at people as, as just special needs, but we're human. We're looking through human eyes. We're looking at what our abilities are. We're looking through eyes of faith to see the beauty of God's creation. Margaret Bryan agrees. She advocates for people with disabilities in the life of the church and society. And what I try to share with people is that it's okay to ask people questions. It's okay to get to know people. In fact, that's the greatest way you can learn to help is to ask. We're not just this terrifying person in a wheelchair. We have uh, gifts that we would love to share. Washington's Cardinal Donald Worrell says everyone has unique gifts that are valuable in the sight of God. Ten-year-old Jessica Fasaga tells me she's happy her mother brought her to church to hear that message. It was really, really beautiful to come. A sign of the vibrant special needs community breathing life into the church. Wyatt Goolsby, EWTN News Nightly. Thank you, Wyatt. A beautiful story you will not see anywhere else.